all changed. Everything's changed. I'm going to show you some little clips of the Mini. You'll see some differences in it. I shot some of it when it was a bit dark, so it's not very good quality. Um, but just some nice photos at the end, have a look. See if you can spot the changes and I'll talk you through them afterwards. when I was with Paul Jeffries, I think we went for a bit of a drive. The changes that I've carried out to the cars, I've painted the roof white and I've put the white roundels on the doors and I've tinted the windows, which I have removed the tint in the front windows because that was irritating. So just a few small changes that I think really make a difference to the car. It uh, really makes it look quite a different thing now. So I'll give you some uh, closer up shots of it, but there's also other changes. I finally moved house and there I am in my new garage. As you can see it's a bit different. We've got some wonky cupboards just up, up there out of shot. I'll grab the GoPro because it's got a more wide angle lens and I'll show you around the garage. It's not very big but I'll show you. The light's not great in here. There's only one light at the, in the ceiling. I'd like to get another strip light put up there. I have put this just uh, loosely balanced up there just to give me a little bit more light on the bench but I've got my bench from the old garage in there the boiler sits in here as well finally got my clock put on the wall that uh, I won on Lone Star Mini uh, competition with Randy this is a door into the house which is quite nice just being able to go in and out the uh, garage straight into the house not having to go outside in the wet uh, there's a lot of shelves in here these shelves are already there I've just put bike stuff on there Toolbox fits nicely over there. Now, the difference with this garage, obviously the Mini sat there, is it's the same width as my old one, but 60 centimetres longer. So I've got about, it would have come up to about there, I reckon, my old garage. So I would only have this space with my bench taking it up. So I've got a fair bit more space now. I can move around a bit. And I think if I put the Mini in the middle of the garage, I could work on both sides quite nicely. And I've still got a bit of junk piled up there and needs to go in the loft. Um, but yeah, I've got a bit more space. There's a lot, like I say, there's a lot of shelves up and some wonky cupboards. They're great. Um, but I'm just making use of the shelves. There's a lot of sorting out needed. There's a lot of stuff just been dumped on shelves. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, excuse the camera. It's, it's um, yeah, I've got my bike. It's quite a nice, uh, quite a nice space. Mini's quite well back against the door. And one plus point is this is a, a roller door, so I've not I can get the mini quite close to it and not have to worry about the tilt of the up and over door catching the back of it. So yeah, it's uh, it works out. It's quite a nice space. I've still got a lot of got a compressor sat there and a load of stuff stuffed under the bench. Still got a fair bit of sorting out to do, but this is the new garage. I think it's uh, it's quite nice. I am planning to do something a little bit different uh, in the future. Um, there's space, which I'll show you when it's daylight, it's dark outside now, but there's space over to the other side of the house. Um, it's all gravel at the moment, which in the meantime, I'm going to put cars on. And um, in the future, I need to save up, but in the future, I'd like to build a garage over there. And then we can turn this, this one into a room for children for xboxes and all that kind of stuff 
that's uh, the long term plan but for now this is uh, this is the plan this is the garage this is where I'm going to uh, work on my little cars now I'm not planning any work immediately on this car nothing too much or uh, the other project I showed you a couple of videos back just yet because I really need to get saving up to build a bigger garage over the other side like I just mentioned that's going to be I want a garage big enough that I can fit my Volvo in and it's quite a big car so that's got to happen at some point um, so I really need to not spend loads of money on project cars and this car and just keep things ticking over for the time being what I am going to do soon is I'm going to do a couple of videos on my R50 Mini that's been sat on my sister's drive since February um, I'm hoping over the next week or so to bring that here I can get that in the garage and I've got to swap a gearbox and a few other little bits and pieces need doing on it wheel bearing just just bits and bobs it's been sat at my sister's house since before the lockdown because I've done a six-speed gearbox swap on it and in doing so I dropped the gearbox and broke off one of the little mounts where the um, clutch slave cylinder mounts on so I rigged something up to kind of hold it which worked but I didn't really want to be driving it every day for that to fail so I parked it up there thinking I don't know what I'm going to do next I'm going to have to get another gearbox and do something and then lockdown happened so I couldn't really do a lot I just sat there so I went over a couple of weeks ago to um, I went over in the Blue Mini actually to see if see about getting it fired up and working and um, it started up the alternator was seized and snapped the alternator belt so hopefully tomorrow I'm going to get a new alternator for it and once I've got that I can go over fit that and I'll drive it back home because I've got space now to keep all my cars at home whereas before I didn't so before too long there'll be a video out on the R50 um, I'll be able to get that home it means the blue mini will have to sit outside in the elements a little bit but I'm going to get a cover I think just to stick over it it won't be out of there all winter because I want to get the R50 back up and running to use that as a daily again um, because it's uh, it's pretty useful, it's small, economical and it's quite a fun little car to drive so the Volvo can have a little bit of a rest then so next video coming will probably be on the R50 doing something with that maybe I'll take a camera with me when I go and do the alternator or maybe it'll be when it comes back here and also at some point I'll make a video where I'll show you my plans and what I'm hoping to do the other side of the house to build a garage that I can hopefully one day fit the Volvo in and I think that's about it for this video. If you've got any comments on what you think of the look of the car, the changes I've made, just sort of little bits and pieces, pretty cheap, but I think it really makes the car. Um, I'm going to talk through what I did with the roof in a separate video because I, I kind of did a little experiment with the paint on there um, and it's turned out quite well. So I'm going to make a video separate on that for you to uh, have a look at. But yeah, that's all. New garage, new look on the car, everything's right with the world and I've got to save up.